so my dear learners uh, let's start with uh, uh, learning a new subject that is software uh, engineering okay so the subject has been kept as a core subject for uh, third semester uh, uh, bachelor of engineering degree for the branches uh, computer science and engineering and uh, information science and uh, uh, engineering as a part of uh, uh, third semester itself and um, uh, the subject code is uh, 18 cs uh, 35 uh, it is a 2018 scheme and syllabus under uh, uh, vtu belagami okay um, before going to start uh, get into this particular subject okay so in this uh, particular video we will focus on uh, uh, why we need to study the software engineering so what i feel whenever uh, we, we are going to start with learning any new subject it is better to uh, understand uh, why we need to subject what is the objective of learning that subject okay and once we gain the knowledge uh, from that particular subject where we are going to apply that okay so that's very important because uh, uh, when you go with this particular process uh, i always hope i hope that it, it will help you to what uh, get the interest in learning uh, the subject and it's not only for software engineering it might be applicable for uh, every subject so I, I suggest all the students whenever you will start learning with any new subject uh, please go with this particular um, process it, it, it always uh, helps you okay so let's start with um, a few questions over here so just I want to clarify uh, with, with some in, in my own way uh, before uh, going to start uh, teaching this subject so let's clarify first okay with some uh, very few questions here so the very the questions are why we need to study software engineering uh, where we are applying the concepts of software engineering and uh, any prerequisite knowledge and skills which are required to learn and understand the concept of software engineering and uh, where is the end point for learning this uh, subject uh, subject whether um, because uh, anyway the subject is for this is there for third semester after this uh, shall whether um, the student has to stop learning the subject okay um, so let's start one by one so why we need to study software engineering is it clear so the important thing is uh, um, the um, as a part of uh, be in computer science and engineering or information science and engineering i hope that uh, the students those who are studying here they, they, they might be having a goal of uh, to become a good programmer, to become a good software engineer in many um, MNCs, okay, companies, software industries. Uh, you might be having a dream to work over there, okay. And uh, as a part of that, even uh, you might have come across uh, a variety of positions in the software uh, industry. Just have a look at over here. So, for example, say that may be a software engineer or it may be. Uh, a developer okay then software architect design engineer then software consultant okay then testing professionals maintenance engineer project manager okay entrepreneur you can start your own company see uh, uh, anything is possible here okay so once you are going to successfully complete your uh, be in uh, computer science and engineering or information science and engineering engineering so normally uh, you are going to uh, acquire such kind of positions in the uh, industry okay uh, but ultimately uh, once you start uh, your career with all these positions okay it is necessary to have the very basic fundamental concepts of what the software engineering because today every software industry runs based on the very fundamental concepts of applying the software engineering without software engineering no software product cannot can be developed without the development of any software product there is no existence of any it industry today so that is the reason that okay so software engineering is an integral part of the development of the software and also it's an important part of what your computer science and engineering branch every subject every programming language that you are going to study in your degree course okay you are going to apply all that knowledge in terms of once again this software engineering do remember this if you are learning data structure if you are learning um, design analysis of algorithm if you are learning system software if you are learning discrete mathematical structure if you are learning uh, some java or c language or python whatever it may be 
ओके एवरी नॉलेज दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेन इन दो सब्जेक्ट्स डाटा बेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम एवरी थिंग यू आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई हियर इन सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सो नाउ होप यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग ओके सो वंस यू आर गोइंग टू जॉइन एज ए सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर डेवलपर और डिजाइनर वॉट एवर मे बी द पोजिशन ओके सो यू 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 शुड बी वेरी स्ट्रांग इनफ इन अप्लाइंग द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वॉट दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग इट इज क्लियर सो दैट इज द रीजन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट दिस सब्जेक्ट इन द वेरी बिगिनिंग ऑफ द थर्ड सेमिस्टर इट्स सो जस्ट यू हैव फिनिश इट ओनली द फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड सेमिस्टर यू माइट नॉट बी हैविंग द मोर नॉलेज अबाउट द कंप्यूटर साइंस रिलेटेड सब्जेक्ट बट स्टिल सो यू विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद द सब्जेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग वाई बिकॉज अर्लियर एक्चुअली द सब्जेक्ट वॉज देयर एट we started uh, teaching this subject in the 7th semester then it came to 6th 5th 4th now it has been reached to the 3rd semester see there okay so why because uh, in engineering uh, to focus on the practicalities okay yeah, the students should start doing their mini projects major projects hobby projects uh, to develop a small scale or uh, an apps or whatever it may be a small softwares okay they they can apply the concept of what the software engineering that's the reason that they have kept it for uh, in the early semester itself okay so it seems to be little bit uh, difficult in the beginning to understand the concepts but as the day go hope all of you will uh, be more familiar with and uh, it will be easy for you to what uh, understand and grab the uh, concepts here and at the same time another important thing i want to tell you every subject is having its own vocabulary okay uh, whenever you will start learning with any new subject that that subject is having its own set of dictionary words you will be start coming across different words so once you start learning the software engineering here you will also coming across uh, um, very popular words different types or different sort of words that you will be getting and uh, uh, as within few days I, I, i hope that all of you are going to get comfortable with uh, uh, this overall concepts over here okay and uh, apart from that even uh, you can uh, take this particular subject uh, for your uh, higher studies also okay and uh, for uh, doing the research that can also be done even uh, uh, there is a degree called uh, software mtech in software engineering you, you can get into depth because it's a very um uh, just by uh, after finishing the third semester okay so your learning should stop over here no okay so it's a very vast subject uh, your every chapter in this particular subject are going to become a once again a big subjects okay so that is the point over here and uh, uh, let's move to the next question here uh, that is what we are where we are applying the concepts of software engineering okay so basically just now i have already told that Uh, in every software industry it industry they runs basically with the basic foundation concepts of software engineering here and uh, uh, in every software industry every software product uh, development and its maintenance will be always done uh, with respect to what the software engineering uh, concepts only uh, that you should remember always okay then uh, another question any prerequisite uh, knowledge or skills required here okay uh, yes do, uh, we need to have uh, the very basic knowledge of many of the subjects okay so you should have some programming language i think anyway you might have learned already c language then uh, you should have some concepts of object oriented concepts actually uh, right now for the first semester you might have not having that but anyway this particular uh, concepts is also a part of uh, the subject only one chapter they have kept it as a object oriented concept that you can learn it okay and also you should have some uh, basic foundation uh, knowledge of the foundation courses like uh, operating system database system software and all those things okay uh, but um, i hope that especially in this uh, technological era all of you are having uh, such kind of uh, the required basic uh, knowledge you might be already uh, having okay and uh, finally the very important uh, thing that i want to mention here that is see there every student should have uh, three things one is the interest 
interest in learning and second thing is that you should have a creativity and you should have a very good analyzing capability okay and apart from that finally as a student we should have what concentration also okay if you have this interest and concentration along with your creativity and analyzing capability you can understand any subject without any difficulty there, there is no question of any easy subject or uh, uh, the tough subject P please remove that kind of uh, thinking from your uh, uh, mind okay then uh, uh, the last question uh, where is the end point for learning this subject okay so of course there is no end point at all not only for software engineering i am telling okay engineering is nothing but it is just like as if it's a lifelong learning to remember one thing today if you have joined engineering especially in our computer science and engineering is concerned okay it's all about the development of software writing the programs so there is no end for learning here just do remember okay it's a lifelong learning every day the technology will be changing and every day you need to learn something new things okay so that's very important and also as earlier i told that the subject is very vast okay and uh, within this particular subject once again in depth there are so many subjects and concepts are involved here uh, just like uh, just have a look at here this is omd means uh, object oriented modeling and design okay and there is a separate subject called software architecture software uh, testing okay and uh, nowadays we are coming up with a new technologies like scrum agile methodology dev apps the, 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 in every all, all these uh, new technological uh, uh, developments uh, our software engineer so that is why uh, just uh, i advise all my students okay uh, to start learning this subject Uh, with their hundred percent uh, effort and interest, is it clear? Even though the subject looks like a theoretical, the knowledge is very much essential. Th this knowledge is very much essential, is it clear? So uh, whenever you will start learning many of the concepts here, you might be thinking that what is the use of this subject? For wh why we are learning this and why it is like this? But uh, when you start really start developing a software as a product. okay as a developer as a designer when you will start working then you will really understand the importance of every concepts that you are going to learn in this software uh, engineering okay so that is why anyway so from next video onwards we will start the actual uh, syllabus so all the best uh, for all the learners here Thank